Hi, I'm Zane Daniel. If you have said this or are saying this sentence, I can't take much more of this, then this video is for you. I want to dive into the mental state and the emotional state of what this means. And wh who are you actually saying this to? Are you saying it to a negative entity? Are you saying it to the universe? So let's go ahead and get started. In order for you to say, I can't take much more of this, the amount of suffering that you've been enduring is off the charts, and possibly you've been deal dealing with it for a very long time. So I totally understand where this comes from. This is anguish. This is desperation. But if you also think about the sentence, you are essentially saying a threat. I can't take much more of this, and if I do, then dot dot dot. So what happens? You really have to think about what this means for you. Does it mean that you're going to commit yourself to psychological care or to a hospital? Does it mean that you are going to end your own life? Or is it an idle threat? It's important to really understand where you're at with all of this. And what this also means is that you just want it to end. Oh, well, who can blame you? Of course you do. But who are you saying it to? If you've been dealing with a negative entity attachment, then you're essentially saying it to the entity. Entity, I can't take much more of this. Well, if you know anything about what an entity wants, and you can learn more about in a video that I've recorded on this previously from the perspective of the negative entity, then you know that that sentence is music to the entity's ears. It is tuned into you. It is attached to you through your vibrational frequency. Your vibrational frequency, when you say, I can't take much more of this, is at the lowest it can possibly be. This is very easy for the entity to stay attached. So what's the solution to this? This is not an easy thing to get yourself out of. You are at a very low point in order to say something like this. But it also means that you're trying everything that you can to avoid it. So there's a good thing and a bad thing to that. The good thing is you're still in there, you're still fighting. And the bad thing is you're trying to run from the problem. And I totally understand that mindset. Of course you are. But it's a switch to the mindset where you have to turn to face it instead of run away from it. You have to say, you know what problem? I am ready to handle you. This is a huge step toward stepping into your power and taking control of your situation. At the same time, I don't really like the word control because control means that you're trying to control the, all the variables so that you don't have fear. Well, that's the thing. When you say, I can't take much more of this, you are at such a low point. Your fear is at the highest possible level at this moment. And fear is a perfect vibrational match for a negative entity, as we already said. They are very much tuned in to you in that moment. If you're not dealing with a negative entity, this could be due to pain, this could be due to emotional suffering, family situations, relationship situations, work situations, it goes on and on. But the solution is the same no matter what the situation is, and that is saying the opposite. I'm ready to handle anything that might come at me. I can handle it. I can deal with it. That actually starts to raise your vibration. It gets you a little bit out of that negative, that low frequency situation. It might sound very easy for me to say that you need to stand up to the situation. Oh my gosh. Yes, of course. I've heard this before. And I've been standing up all this time, Zane. I don't know what else to do. But the thing is, you chose this experience before you came here. If you know anything about soul contracts. This is a metaphysical concept that we signed up for every experience that we have, whether it be suffering or whether it be something beautiful and amazing. So if you look at it from that perspective that you signed up for all the suffering that you're going through right now, it might empower you a little bit because that means that you believed and that you knew that you were strong enough to handle it. So digging deep and finding a little bit of that strength so that you can turn and face the situation will bring your higher self. It'll bring your soul self forward into your current self, which is your 3D self, your suffering self, and merge the two. And when those things merge, you're going to bring in some of that soul confidence. I've got another video on soul confidence that you can check out if you're interested. 
this is going to make a big difference and it will start down the path of success or of getting out of the situation that you're in. The other thing you don't want to do is threaten the universe. Universe, I can't take much more of this. Well, you're, what are you doing? You're focusing on whatever this is, whether it be a negative entity attachment or any of the other things that I've just mentioned. When you do that, the universe says, I don't care what's going on. It doesn't matter if you're feeling negative or positive about it. All I know is that you're focused on that thing, that this, the negative entity or the negative thing. And you're surrounding it with a very powerful emotional push. The universe is going to try to bring you more of whatever you're emotional about. It's going to bring you more of your passion, if you're passionate, or it's going to bring you more of what you fear if your fear is off the charts, or if your despair is off the charts, or your suffering is off the charts, whatever it is. So by focusing more and more on the thing that's bothering you, the universe helps provide more and more of that. So it's really important to start to shift that. And this is one of the many things that we go over in my program, Detached, to help you detach from these negative things, to help you detach from negative entity attachments or implants or depression or addiction or whatever it is that you're suffering from. So what I'd like to do right now is provide an activation. It'll give you a little boost or a little push to help you turn to face the thing that you're suffering from. It will give you a little bit more confidence in what you're dealing with. So go ahead and close your eyes and take a nice big deep breath. And relax as you exhale. Feel yourself sinking into your chair, or to your bed, or to the floor, or to the ground, wherever you might be while you're listening to this. My activations are quick and easy. I'm going to say breath in. When I do, you're going to take a nice big deep breath. You're going to hold it. And you're going to wait for me to make a loud and explosive sound. And then you can exhale. So bringing you that confidence that trust in yourself, that ability to handle this very challenging situation that you find yourself in. Breath in. Good. This was a little tap into your solar plexus chakra. It'll give you the confidence that you need to handle anything that might come your way or might continue to come your way. And so when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you so much for participating in that activation. I hope it helps you a little bit gain some confidence, merge a little bit more with your higher self and know how powerful you are, how much confidence you do have at a soul level that you can handle this because you can. And if you'd like to work with me and I can help you even more, even further, either through quick activations, a full session, or joining my program Detached. You can find links to all of that below in the description. So thank you once again. If you can leave a comment. <clears throat> so thank you once again. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought, what you're dealing with, how many times you've said, I can't take much more of this. And hopefully this video will be the first step toward getting you back out of this low frequency and on with the rest of your life. I love you unconditionally and I'll see you in the next video.